I will show how to determine the full width at half maxima in two different ways. The method which most of the researchers use. And then, the method which I use, and I think better. After very briefly talking about the Scherer equation, I will show how you can calculate crystallite size easily. 1. Manually writing the formula. Or, alternatively using my templates as an automatic calculator. After plotting the data, go to analysis. Choose peaks and baselines, and then select multiple peak fit. Open dialog. If you are using an older version of origin, you may need to enter the number of peaks. If you are new to multiple peak fit, I suggest you to watch my previous video on multiple peak fit. Link is given in the description. Here, you have to choose the peak type. In most of the cases, Gaussian or Lorentzian work better. I will compare both. First, I will use the Gaussian. Double click on the peaks to select them. When you are done selecting, open nonlinear fit. Here, you can find tons of information regarding the fit. I have to use fit until converge option. Now the fit has converged at 18 iterations. It may go more than even 100 if there are several types of peaks and noisy background. Click OK as it is completed. Let's have close look, how well it is fitted. At lower, around the background, the peaks are not fitted well. However, you can still use it, as we are concerned about the full width at half maxima. Let's check it with Lorentzian shape. Resizing for better visibility. Adjusting the scale though it is not very important. Now I have to choose Lorentz here. This is better than the previous fit. Up to now, I have shown how it is done by most of the researchers. But, I suggest you to use the following method. Instead of using multiple peak fit, use quick fit. Go to gadgets. Then quick fit. Choose peak. Lorentz as we know Lorentz fits better. You have to just magnify the peaks one by one. First, do for the first peak. Looks good. If necessary, you can adjust the highlighted region by dragging the sides. Find the fitted parameters from here. Keep only values, separated by single space. Select all. Copy them. Cancel the change, as we have copied already. Make a new sheet. Write the parameters and units. Paste the copied values. Repeat the steps for other high-intensity peaks.
W represents the full width at half maxima. We have extracted values from 5 peaks. For calculation of crystallite size, 3 to 5 peaks will be ok. In the next half, I will use these values to calculate crystallite size. Before doing that let's know the important basics. This is the Scherer equation. L is crystallite size which we want to calculate. All angles are in radian. K is constant. In most of the cases for spherical crystallites, you can use 0.94 or close to 1. So, the formula you have to insert in origin or excel is this. Let's do it. The first column is for K. Second is lambda in angstrom. Peak position, 2 theta. In degree. Half width at full maxima. In degree. Last column for calculated crystallite size. In nanometer. I am using K as 0.94. The wavelength of X-ray is 1.54178 angstroms. These are constant for all peaks. Copy and paste calculated values. Now carefully enter the formula. First column, K, multiplication. Second column, lambda, division. Radians of FWHM. Division. Cosine of peak position. In radians. As it is 2 theta, divide by 2. For angstrom to nanometer divide by 10. You got the crystallite size. Seems preferential growth of crystallite. Or could be a technical problem. If you see such difference, ignore the low intensity peaks. Now alternatively, you can download these templates from the link given below. In both these Excel or Origin, I have inserted the formula. You just have to paste the values from the full width at half maxima calculation.